is um, Jay here. I just uh, I'm making this video to inform you guys of the discovery that happened last night. After about three days of constantly searching on how to get Windows 8.1 to be activated on my computer um, and also have Windows Media Center to be uh, activated on my computer, um, it, it was just crazy. It was a lot of hell. And as you can see, um, everything is unlocked, uh, you know, and all that good stuff. Now, it's a very simple, very, 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 very simple process. Um, one second, I'm still getting acclimated to Windows 8. Um, what you need to do, you need to get three files. The three files are Skype, um, the product keys which I did make available for you in the description down below, and you need this, which would be the most important uh, file of them all, which is the KMS uh, Auto Net 2014 1.1.6 portable file. Now again, this is also in um, in the download folder that you would be downloading from the link um, along with the product key. Skype, you can just go to skype.com and download it. Not really. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, um, keep your screen just like this with the product keys that I made available for you. Download them. You want to Take your mouse and you want to move it all the way down to the start icon. You want to right click on it and you want to come up to a command prompt admin. Alright, it's going to say yes. Do it. This, this screen is going to pop up. Now what you want to do, the keys, this is the instructions here which are a lot more detailed than um, the actual video. I, I put everything down to the finest detail in here. Um, you just want to copy this, uh, this product key right here. Um, I'll, I'll copy it, but I'm not going to hit enter because I just went through hell trying to set this thing up. But I can guarantee you it works. I've done it two times. And I would tell you, uh, after, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you, you cannot do this more than two times or else you would run into the issue that I have. So you follow the instructions just like this. The first time around, you will not have an issue. You will not get to the issue that I have. Okay, so here we go. You paste the product key in here. You just right click and paste and hit enter. Um, after you hit enter, a uh, screen should pop up that says uh, product key was successfully installed. If the product key does not work, what you're going to do is you're going to use one of the other product keys that I have. I have given you four product keys all together. There's this one, and then there's all these three at the bottom. Um, they all should work. They all should work, but this one. Um, uh, it's been gold for me for some reason, I don't know. But um, yeah, you hit that, you hit enter. After that, done. Uh, again, it's a very fast process. After that's done, you run, you do the next, uh, the next step, which is you hold control and you hold R. And you're gonna bring up the run tab. Now, this is what I was talking about. You cannot do this process more than two times as far as activating Windows this way because Windows Administrator will block you from this feature. It's not a big deal. You can always go back in and unblock yourself. But, you know, to save yourself the hassle. Okay, you hit OK. Well, this is the screen that I'm getting. But as you can see, my Windows is already activated. When this screen pops up, right here to your left, there's going to be um, a little tab that you, you have to scroll down from. It's going to ask you to pick your country. You're going to scroll all the way down to the United Kingdom. Uh, from there, you're going to hit the next. This is going to turn to next. Yes, hit the next button. Um, another screen is going to pop up, and you're going to see nine uh, rectangular bars, and they all, they're all going to have numbers on them. What you're going to do after that, now this is where it gets interesting, you're going to open up Skype. All right? And you're going to go to the call, uh, the calling section, or whatever, and when it, where it says uh, state, I mean, sorry, not state country. You scroll all the way down to the United Kingdom. And by the way, guys, if you're hearing an accent, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. That's where it's coming from. Um, but you hit the United Kingdom. Then you enter in this phone number. Uh, where is it? Here it is. You enter in this phone number, which is also going to be in the instructions that you're going to have. Uh, the 0800 blah, blah, blah number. Um, 
I go to my recent and it's right there. You could see I just called them. And again, I would I was doing this. I just finished this process uh, at nine. Sorry, at six twelve a.m. That's when I was done with it. So I'm really not uh, BSing you guys. What you're gonna do is you're gonna call. All right, this is gonna come up. Um, give it a second. Thank you for calling Microsoft. For security purposes, please enter the following numbers using your touchtone pad. Please enter the number 262. Thank you. Now, that be told while I transfer you to our activation system. This is Welcome right. to Microsoft Eight. product oh. activation. Oh, wow. Please press one as a home user and two if you're a business customer. You're going to press two. Remember, you're Some pressing two. licenses require activation. If you want to activate your Microsoft product, press one. To activate a remote desktop, to activate, you must have your installation numbers from your activation wizard screen. If you're familiar with this process, you may press the hash key to skip any instructions. No personal information. Please enter the first group now. Okay. Now, what the, what they're asking? Well, let me track back a little bit because God, that was loud. Um, what you're gonna do is no entry was detected. Please try again okay, or I'll press. Just, the I'll just hang it up. Uh, it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, the 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 nine bars that you saw in the beginning. As soon as you hit uh, run, uh, country, sorry, window Windows and R. Um, when that setup came up, the the nine the nine rectangular bars that you saw with the numbers in it, you're gonna input that number into the keypad on Skype. So it's gonna ask you for the first the first block, and it's gonna keep repeating it until you're done with the first block. Uh, then it's gonna ask you for the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, and the ninth, all the way down. Um, after that's done, you're gonna have to hit. Um, it's they're gonna say. If they're going to ask you if anyone has used this confirmation, uh, I mean this uh, product key before, you're going to say no, which I think is one. I think you got to hit one for that. And um, after that's done, it's going to give. It's going to be like it's going to say your account was successfully, uh, you know, activated. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much the the meat of that. You're going to take. It's going to. They're going to give you a confirmation ID number. Um, you just put it in right over the um, uh, the numbers you already see that's there over block A, B, C, D, E, F. You're gonna put it over all of them. Um, after you're finished with that, it's gonna say your Windows is activated. Now, this is the very interesting part. Um, you probably won't have Windows Media Center on your computer yet, and if you do, it's not activated. So this is what you do. KMS server, you, you're not going to use it yet. You're going to go in and you're going to type in, uh, what's that thing called? Uh, add features. Add. Alright. You're going to go right there. Now, that's another glitch that I also forgot to mention. Um, after I did this more than a, more than two times, uh, I, I lost that ability that I have to go in and unlock again, which is very, very annoying. But I uh, usually have uh, the, the link right here, so to put it, that you can click on that you can click on that's going to take you straight to um, the activation of the Windows Media Center. What you're going to do in that add feature uh, portion is you're going to copy another one of the um, the product keys that I gave you into that uh, product key space. Um, let it activate it. It's going to restart the computer and reboot all of that good stuff. Um, when, when the computer reboots, you're going to have Windows Media Center. Um, now, after that's done, here comes the crucial part. Your windows are now—it's going to be deactivated again. It's going to be—you're going to be prompted 
to reactivate Windows, you're going to see the build numbers at the bottom. Why? I think it's because of the product keys. Um, the first time I did it, I used a different product key. The second time I did it, I used the same product key. You know, it, it, it didn't work out for me. So after that's done, after you use the product key and you activate it, you activate uh, Windows Media Center. Now you want to go to the KMS AutoNet 2014. You want to go to that and you want to click on the English version. And you just want to run this. Alright. Okay. Now it's pretty simple. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is hit activation and activate Windows. And you're gonna see everything. It it does it's gonna activate Windows for you. Trust me, it will. Uh, after that happens, what it does, I guess it like seals everything up. So nothing gets uh, deactivated after, for lack of a better way of putting it. But um, yeah, that's the process of how to do it. And um, it's, 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 again, it's very simple. If you guys have any questions, please uh, reach out to me. Give me a call. Uh, why did I say give me a call? If you have any questions, just uh, be sure to send me a message. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. And thanks, you guys. Uh, I hope.